Hey, what's up YouTube? You're watching Ready, Set, Drone, and today I have the Mavic Air 2, and we're gonna do a little return to home test. And what we're gonna do is let it dial into a good number, at least 12, 15 satellites, um, as many as it can get. We'll Please check it on the map. So it's updated the home point, that's a good sign. 17 satellites, it's bouncing between 16 and 17. So that's a pretty good number. Um, let's go ahead and take it off, fly it 500 feet away and 200 feet in the air, and then we'll hit return to home. And you can see right now, I've got it dead center. I'm gonna put it straight on the uh, that part of the H, you know, the center crossbar of the H. I don't know that orientation really matters, but it is as centered on this landing pad as it can be. So we'll go ahead and take off. Take off. Point has been updated. Please check it on the map. Okay, so home, bait, home point's updated. Taking it up to 200 feet. Okay, 203. And now I'm gonna take it 500 feet away. Okay, there's 502, and now hit return to home. Go home. Come on, little Mavic Air 2. You can do it. Oh, there it is, coming in right above us. And all right, let's see how accurate it is. It looks like it's kind of over there, but it's hard to tell. And I'm gonna just give it a little bit of space to do its thing. Okay, now it's slowed down. Oh my goodness. Wow. That is probably 10 inches from where it started, which was right there. So I'd say that was pretty good. Let's do it again. See how it does the second time. Take off. Please check it on the map. Okay, going up to 200 feet. This time we're going to rotate and fly in a different direction. Okay, we're 200, exactly 200 feet up. Well, 198. Take it a little higher. 200 feet up and oh, a little more than 500. Okay, this time we're like 550 away. So here we go. Go home. So 50 extra feet distance. Hopefully that doesn't make a big difference. It just kind of Covered those 50 feet before I hit stop. So it's coming back. Boy, I'm really impressed with the last one. There she comes. <laughs> oh, 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 wow. I think it's even a little closer than last time because um, last time the nose was down here. Notice that it is lined up with the H just the way it took off. Like it's exactly the same way it took off last time. So I think this time, just for fun, I'm gonna line it up this direction like that. So now it's kind of facing, you know, it's in the center of the H and see if it lands this direction too. And I'm gonna fly that way. So, you know, to, the, to our, facing behind it. The facing north on the compass of this thing. So very impressive on that uh, second landing. 
Impressive on the first one too, but let's see what it does on number three. Take off. Home point has been updated. Okay, updated home point. Again, uh, going to going to uh, 200 feet in height and 500 feet in distance. All right, so again, overshot just a little bit, 208 in height and 519 in distance, and bring it home. Well, we couldn't have picked a better day to shoot. I mean, it's not hot, it's not too sunny. All right, and remember, uh, when we took off, it was oriented this way, nose facing that way. All right, it's actually it looks like it's off now. It's not over it, but let's see if it finds it. Well, okay, number three was a fail. I mean, still very, very close, but uh, not nearly as good as one and two. I can't imagine it has to do with the direction it was facing, but still, that's kind of weird. Let's do let's do one more just for grins. We'll, we'll, we flew it that way, we flew it that way, we flew it that way. Let's fly it that way this time. Nice, you get your battery stats on there, that's pretty cool. Temperature of the battery, flight time, all your voltages, very cool. All right, so we had two really great ride-ons, uh, one not so great, probably about three or four feet off. And now we're gonna try one more time in the fourth direction being, uh, we haven't flown it that way yet and we're facing it that way also. So it's, shoot, it's facing the uh, east um, marker on the landing pad. Take off. I also wonder, okay, so it said home point updated. I wonder if maybe I moved it before the home point was updated last time. Like in other words, if I, started it moving and it updated the home point to be off of the mat a little bit. We'll see this time, because I this time it definitely said home point updated while it was still over the mat. Okay, so we are at, okay, 500 feet, 204, and here we go, coming home. 500 feet away, 204 in the air, bringing it back. And remember this time it was facing east, facing the, I don't know if that's actually east, but uh, it's, it's not actually east, that's west, but it's facing the east marker on the landing pad. Now interesting, it, it's facing the same way that it took off this time. All right, this one's looking a lot better. Looking a lot better. Wow. Okay, another nearly perfect landing, just inches away from where it started. Completely oriented the same direction, facing that east um, marker on the takeoff pad. I think what happened on that third time was, I think what happened is I took it off and I think I must have moved it before it said home point has been updated. I think that basically I had moved it off of its space. I think you have to let it hover where it's going to be for a second and then it not locks that in as a home point because that was such a big miss compared to the other two. But I hope you enjoyed this. If you liked it, please give it a thumbs up and I'd uh, love to hear your comments below. If you haven't already subscribed, please consider subscribing to Ready, Set, Drone. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.